Happy Halloween everyone! Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make these cute Halloween wall hangings. Stay tuned! Don't forget to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. I'm going to be demonstrating the eyeball pattern here, but all the rest of them are the exact same technique. So first I'm going to start this off with a tip. Add rubber bands to the end of your wooden dowel, that way it doesn't slip off your hook. Next, attach all 12 cords onto your wooden dowel using a lark's head knot. To make a lark's head knot, you fold your cord in half, you take the center loop, you put it over top of your wooden dowel and pull the tail ends through. Once you have them all on there, it's time to take a really long strand of cord to tie your vertical double half hitches. Don't be too concerned with the exact measurement for this because we can always add more later. Okay, so to tie your vertical double half hitch, you put your cord behind the first two strands, you make a loop on the right, and then pull the tail end through. This is only half of the knot, so you want to repeat the same process to complete your vertical double half hitch. And once it's done, slide it all the way up to the top. The first knot is always a little bit different, so I will demonstrate the second one for you. So of course we're working with the next two strands of cord and you want to bring your working cord underneath them. And just like we did with the first knot, you make a loop on your right, you wrap your cord around and through the loop and you repeat the process twice. I'm going to zip through the first row and then I'll show you how to go in reverse. The reason why I don't like to give exact measurements for the cord used for the vertical double half hitches is because it greatly varies. Because these are very small wall hangings, you can get away with purchasing a one pound tube for each color needed. Alrighty, excuse my rough copy here, but we went all the way across the top and next we have to go back in the opposite direction. For this row, we need three more white vertical double half hitches. So to go back in the opposite direction, you wanna wrap your cord behind the first two sets of cords, but this time we wanna make our loop on the left. I find the easiest way for me to remember is that your working cord and your loop will always be on the side of the direction that, that you are going. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and then I'll show you how to add a different color. Okay, so once you need to switch cords, all you have to do is pull your working cord up and out of the way. I ran out of black cord, so I'm using this bulky yarn. And to add your new color, it is literally the same thing that we did when we began. We're just gonna tie a vertical double half hitch just right at the bottom here. I really enjoy the look and the feel of adding a different texture to this project. If you would like to incorporate yarn into your work as well, I highly suggest that you purchase a yarn that is roughly around the same size as your rope. Or you can always double up your yarn to match the density of your rope. Just be careful, it is a little bit trickier to work with yarn than it is with rope. Alrighty, I'm going to speed this up and then I'll show you how to swap colors again. To switch back to the white cord, all you have to do is bring your two cords around in the back, crisscross them and move the gray one out of the way, and continue on. It's really that easy, and then if you need to add more cord, it's just the same as we did previously. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up and then we can all watch how this comes together. Once you're finished all your vertical double half hitches, it's time to take care of the mess in the back. With such a small project, all I do is just tie overhand knots and then snip off the excess. This is just a fun Halloween project for myself. If this is something I was making to sell to someone, I would probably do it more professionally and weave the ends in where you can't see them. Next, I'm gonna flip it back around and then give the tail ends a trim. I'm just gonna eyeball it, <laughs> um, get the joke. Please don't unsubscribe. And that is it. It is basically the same thing for the rest of them, but I do have this larger pattern if you want to go check that out. I'll see you in the next one. And it was at this point that the caffeine kicked in. <laughs> I hope you all have a fun and safe Halloween. I'll see you in the next one.